Hello everyone, this is iPhone 6 Plus, it came here from another uh, shop, so they told me the, like a couple of months ago they changed the charging port and they changed the battery, you can see the date is about like uh, 318, <coughs> about like five months ago or so. But now the phone is has no power. They think maybe it's a TriStar. But look, the battery is a little bit uh, swollen. There is a gas inside it. And what are we gonna do? I'm gonna plug the power supply. Yeah, if the phone has a bad TriStar, it will turn on with the external power supply. Or it will turn on with the, the battery that has some voltage. So there is no surge in the battery line because there is a zero amp here. You can see the power supply is uh, set up at the four volt. But so I'm going to push the power button. You can see here it jumped to the one one point three amp. This is not normal. The normal boot amps it should go like to the it's keep going 100 milliamp, 200 milliamp, 400 milliamp, keep going like that till it's uh, finish the boot. But it jumping to the to the 1.3 amp, that's not normal boot. So we're gonna check the board and we check it. I'm gonna turn on the power supply. You can see it's still zeros over there and the amps is right here. And I'm gonna turn on push the power button. You jump into the 1.3. So gonna tell where is the heat. This comes from this area. So let's go to the microscope. Yeah, look, the, this is a power manager IC, it's getting very hot. Usually, this problem is linked to the one of the NAND uh, power lines. Yeah, when you push the power button and you see the amp is jumping to the over one amp, the first thing you're going to check, you check those here. Even if you see the power manager gearing hot, that's likely is not a problem. So let's uh, check that. Uh, so here. This one good. This one did. This one did. This one not good. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There is a church and the the end the power lines. One of them is church. It's bad. It's bad. Yep. So we have this one and this one. One, two, three capacitors. That's tested short. So I'm gonna like check this area more than this one here. Let's turn on the power supply. I'll turn on the motherboard, and we put some alcohol over there to see if we can see any any capacitor drying faster than the other ones so here it turns on look here look at this one now if you can see it the 
this one here. So there is a capacitor under this shield. Likely that's the one is bad. So we don't need to use the thermal camera because I'm pretty sure that's the bad capacitor. So let's check that. Uh, then we check with the maximator if the capacitor is shorted. Yep, this capacitor it is to the short as the other ones. Now it's time to check it out. Let's take some. So just be careful. So don't push it the, to the name, push it to the other side. So that's the capacitor. This capacitor is shorted. Do we still have the short here? This one now? This one now, this one now. So the shirt is gone. So all these capacitors, they are on the parallel. If one of them is missing, the other capacitor is still gonna do the same job, filtering the same line. So I just say put the board, no screws yet. I put the power supply over there. So I turn on the power supply, zero amp over there. Just keep watch here I'm gonna push the power button remember before it was 1.3 amp that's from the first click of the button you can see it now is a 0 0.1 0 0.2 and this keep rising little by little you can see here power supply disconnected when you connect it again I'm gonna push the power button we see the Apple logo but I did see something here on the screen this is a charge problem this is like I, I think I did see a bar like flicker from the bottom so this phone it has the second issue is this could be the charge uh, problem. Yeah, you can see the bar. So I can fix that issue. Just I need to talk to the customer about it. So the phone turns on. Charge screen doesn't work. That's what I was thinking. So I'm going to talk to the customer about the charge screen, then we go from there. Yeah, this problem is different than the, the shirted capacitor and the power lines, the NAND power lines. This is the charge IC problem. There is a bad under it, let's get cracked, bad connection, causing this problem. If the customer wants to fix it, I'm going to show you the next uh, I did talk to the customer and uh, they said uh, just uh, go ahead and fix it because I think they know about this issue before he said the phone is like freeze freezes <coughs> so before I go and remove the, the IC we need to take the this cover because when we are applying some heat the other side this cover like uh, expanding and moving some some components so so cleaning here it will save you a lot of time because if one of these uh, components move it 
when you are removing the, the chip, it's going to be a hard to pull it back to check which one is, uh, is causing the problem and all that. So do some work now, save your time later. This job is take about five minutes. So I'm just going to clean this area because it was close to the to the chip. I don't need to do the other ones. So just already did this one. We'll do this. Finish some here and here, and this should be good to go. Pause. So after we take off the the mask cover, so we can put some flux. Let's go on a product to the component from moving this should be good so this is the chip that's causing the problem the one is here so this chip here and there is the pad that's going from here to here and this one from here to here so let's do that one and that should be a good pose so this is the chip we want the heat to go this side to go outside the board not the inside so i'm gonna try to work quick They want to have some good grip in the tweezer. Yeah. So you can see I can uh, take the the chip with the phone. So I'm going to lift the chip a little bit up. They will put some heat. Yeah, the chip is quick removed. This is a safe way to do it quick. So next, so we need a jumper from here to here and another jumper from here to here.
phone is together Charge screen works so this is all for this video thank you for watching we'll see you next one